everybody. Let's see if I can get this camera to stay up. Okay, Alexis McLean from Starfit here. I wanted to go over these two fat loss mistakes I see a lot of my clients making. Most of the women that come to me, either for in-person training or for my online boot camps, are making these two mistakes and they're not what you would think maybe not your first guest I actually just talked to um, a girl yesterday who joined my online boot camp and she was making these mistakes so we've fixed them and now we're going to wait and recheck in two weeks to see how her results are going but I know they're going to be great because I know what works I do it for myself my online boot campers get great results instead of my clients so top two fat loss mistakes that a lot of the women who come to me are making are they're doing too much cardio and they're not eating enough yes it's not overeating it's not not working out enough most of the women that join my online boot camps they're working out and they're dieting they are which aka is a lot of running a lot of cardio and a lot of dieting not eating enough food and I actually get the women in my group to start eating a little bit more food to dial back the cardio add in weight training which is key to burning fat building muscle which will increase your metabolism which will help you burn more fat in the long run and then I also have them up their food intake a little bit if they've been dieting for too long if you're not eating enough you're gonna slow down your body's metabolism you're going to cause your body to store fat especially combined with the steady state cardio that's like a recipe for belly fat storage so how you know if you're eating enough if you've been working out and you've been dieting and you're gaining weight or you're not losing weight, if you feel tired a lot, you're low energy, you get bad cravings, um, maybe your blood sugar's low, you get lightheaded, dizzy during your workouts, signs you're probably not eating enough. Um, you need to make sure in the morning you're having a serving of lean protein, you're having a little bit of healthy fats, you're having some vegetables, um, make a protein shake, add some spinach and kale to the protein shake with some almond butter, some almond milk, a scoop of whey protein, there you go, full breakfast. At lunch, make sure you're having a big serving of vegetables, um, a big serving of protein, and then some complex carbs. And then at dinner time, the same thing, you want a nice serving of lean protein, big serving of lots of different vegetables, and then again, you can have another serving of healthy fats and complex carbs. You don't need to eat too little. It will do the reverse. It'll make you store fat. It'll make you have cravings. It'll make you binge on the weekend. Maybe you're dieting, you know, perfectly throughout the week, but then come the weekend, you know, you say, oh, well, Friday night I'll have a cheat meal, and that turns into a whole weekend full of junk food. It's not going to get you anywhere. And if you're doing the steady state cardio, if you're running every day and not seeing results, if your body's feeling tired, you're feeling fatigued, you are probably over training and same goes for even weight training or like a popular exercise um, DVD is the 21 day fix which can be great when you first get started but if you're doing these you know five six days of training intensely lots of cardio you're probably causing your body to store belly fat which obviously we don't want so you need to focus on weight training mixed in with some cardio cardio intervals my girls in my online boot camps do three full body workouts a week same with my in-person clients and then depending upon their goals and depending upon them what they've been doing they either add in a quick 20 minute sprint workout or 20 minute hit workout we do no steady state cardio other than leisure walking so walking for the pure you know joy of it bringing those stress levels down um, or letting your body relax a little bit while also getting in some movement is great to bring those stress levels down which also affect belly fat so make sure you're eating enough make sure you're not doing endless amounts of cardio that is leaving you storing fat instead of burning fat and and if you need help, join my online boot camp or send me an email or a comment here on this post. I'm always here to help you. I have tons of example workouts on my YouTube page. And if you're not getting my weekly newsletters, sign up for that too over on my website, starfitlife.com. I send out usually a workout or two every week along with meal planning tips, recipes, and um, other fitness tips and more. So thanks for everybody who got on this call. I am actually about to head back to the gym. I have a couple more clients and then I got to get in my own workout, which will be a full body weight training session. So eat healthy today, drink lots of water, don't overtrain, don't undereat, and be healthy, happy, star fit. Okay, bye guys.